you know, I, I went to Mutar's place in Riyadh, mashallah, and yeah. after your recommendation. And like I said, yes. alhamdulillah, the food, was, I, I've never been to Texas or any of these places in America, yes. but I can yes. imagine that's what it tastes like. It's really, yes. really nice. Yes, the the yes, rump yes. and the, 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 um, the pulled beef, mashallah, yeah. it's very, yeah. very, alhamdulillah. And you know, yeah. it's such a thriving community in, in, in Riyadh. Like, I was really, really impressed by people from all over the world. Yes. Guys from Latin America, from America, from the UK, alhamdulillah. And yes. uh, how did you find like living in Saudi? You know, yes, the pay is better, alhamdulillah. They give you accommodation. They pay for flights per year. But how did you find living in a Muslim country compared to living in New York, compared to living in Brooklyn? How was that transition? Yeah, you know, honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't as um, challenging in many ways, as I thought it was going to be, I honestly didn't know what to expect um, in Saudi. Before I went, I thought it was, you know, really just desert and camels. And, you know, I mean, I knew that they had money, um, but I didn't know like what the society was set up. I, and when I went there, I was shocked at how modern it is. I mean, you know, yeah. state of the art highways and, you know, assist, you know, city systems and stuff like that. All the restaurants, there's restaurants that I discovered in America that I didn't even, I mean, that I discovered there that I didn't even know were from America. You know, I mean, it was, it was crazy, you know, how much, um, and, you know, and the relationship between Saudi and America, although it's probably soured now, but at that time, I mean, the relationship is so strong. It, you know, it, it, I almost felt like I was in just another part of America in many ways. Um, yeah. In terms of how yeah. comfortable they made you feel, you know, being American, all the signs are in either Arabic or English. So um, there was no, you know, different, you know, no difficulty in sort of navigating and things like that. Um, uh -huh. um, the ma'am, in terms of the people, the people are a lot nicer um, in Riyadh. Not as much. I mean, it's still nice people, but it's a bit more tribal. You got to understand, too, that, you know, um, the East Coast is close to the beach, right? Uh, it's yeah. close to the water. Yeah. And generally, it jets the same way. Generally, people like that have sort of more laid back um yeah. uh demeanors and you know things like that uh dispositions um but in Riyadh it's like literally in the middle of the desert and yes. you know it's a bit tough it's a rough life you know so that kind of you know from you know centuries of living like that I guess it forms you know a certain type of attitude um but at the end of the day like I said you know Riyadh is is a very big uh you know capital lots of access lots of things to do um, I was able to study with, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, scholars there. Um, yeah. and yeah, I mean, and, and in general, um, you know, Saudis, when they really take to you, I mean, they really lay out the red carpet for you. Um, so I've met, yeah. you know, so many, uh, Saudi friends still very close with them. Um, still talk with them, you know, relatively, uh, frequently and yeah, I mean, you know, it wasn't, it was an overall, uh, positive experience being over there.